Shorty has got some really exciting news. That's right, because I'm in somewhere new today. I'm finally in my lovely new studio where some very lucky little lemons will be able to come and learn. The Spotty Potty, would you like to see a little bit of it? Okay, I'll give you a sneaky peek. amazing new things with Scotty Dotty. And since it's a very special day, World Book Day, would you like to read a story with me? <coughs> Fantastic! Now let's see. Oh, but this is one of my favourites. Can you see it? <laughs> by Martin Waddle, he's the author who writes the story, and Mary Oxenbury, and she's very clever too, she draws all the pictures. This book is about a little duck who has the whole world against him. He works so hard on his farm and nobody appreciates him, but something wonderful happens through the story. Would you like to find out what? Okay, get all nice and comfy. Farmer Duck, written by Martin Waddle, and illustrated by Helen Oxenbury. There once was a duck who had the bad luck to live with a lazy old farmer. The duck did the work. The farmer stayed all day in bed. Oh dear, what a lazy farmer he is. The duck fetched a cow from the field. I'll go to work, called the farmer. The duck answered, quack. The duck brought the sheep from the hill. I'll go to work, called the farmer. What? said the duck. The duck put the hens in their house. I'll go to work, called the farmer. The duck answered, quack. Can you see the farmer just in there in his farmhouse shouting at the duck? <gasps> the farmer got fat through staying in bed and the poor duck got fed up with working all day. Oh my goodness, what a lazy farmer he is. I'll go to work. Quack. The duck had to saw all the wood. I'll go to work. Quack. As he's digging up the vegetables. I'll go to work. Quack. He's having to do all the washing up. I'll go to work. Quack. He's having to do all the ironing as well. How goes the work? Quack. How goes the work? Quack. The poor duck was sleepy and weepy and tired. Well, the poor duck's been working so hard. Well, the hens and the cow and the sheep got very upset. They loved the duck. So they held a meeting under the moon and they made a plan for the morning. Moo, said the cow. Bah, said the sheep. Bah, said the hens. And that was the plan. It was just before dawn and the farmyard was still. Through the back door and into the house crept the cow and the sheep and the hens. Oh, what are they going to do? They stole down the hall, they creaked up the stairs, they squeezed under the bed of the farmer and wriggled about. The bed started to rock and the farmer woke up and he called, How goes the work? And <laughs> he lifted his bed and he started to shout and they banged and they bounced the old farmer about and about and about right out of the bed <laughs> what wonderful animals <gasps> and he fled with the cow and the sheep and the hens mooing and banging and clucking all around him <gasps> down the lane <laughs> through the field bah. Came back. 
duck awoke and waddled wearily into the yard, expecting to hear, how goes the work? But nobody spoke. Then the cow and the sheep and the hens came back. Quack, 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 quack. Quack, 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 asked the duck. Moo, said the cow. Bah, said the sheep. Cluck, 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 said the hens. Which told the duck the whole story. Then mooing and bang and clucking and quacking, they all set to work on their farm. Oh, look at that picture of all of Duck's friends helping him in the end. Wow, what wonderful friends they were. And look what a lovely, happy farm and the sons came out. The end. Oh, I love that story, did you? Is that magic sound? Something's appeared on my wall. You can find magic wherever you look. Sit back and relax. All you need is a book. Oh, 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 sorry. I think I went into a magical land of oh, magic and I was thinking things just like Dr. Zeus has put on my wall there. And it's so true. Books are amazing for our brains and imagination. Some of my little friends have also been reading. Let's have a little look at some of their favourite books. Hi, Scotty, Dotty. This book is called There's a Snake in My School. This, this snake is called Penelope and she eats her head teacher. Hi, this is Scotty Dotty. That's my favourite book here. It's about dinosaurs. <coughs> I'm going to show you my favourite page. This is it here. It's about uh, sea dinosaurs and they're kind of they're kind of big, but this one's the biggest one. My name is Ayla, and my mummy and daddy read Matilda to me, and that's my favourite book. And I'm going to raise a penny. So my favourite part um, is when the chinch pool falls down. Scotty Dotty, this book is called Dogman. That is Dogman, that is Lolly Petty, and that is Petty. This is the first one I got. The main character is Dogman, he's a cop. And he fights the bad guys. Lola Petty just says everything and he's grumpy all the time and Dogman's just in every mood. Bye, you know what fantastic children! What marvellous books and reading they've been doing! I am very impressed. Well, I hope in book day you're going to get to explore and read some of your favourite books and maybe you can let me know. Yeah. Okay, then. See you soon. Happy reading from Scotty Dotty.